Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Gals and guys. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Tracy Brown. Tracy Brown. Tracy Brown Life. Tracy Brown. Life. Tracy Brown. Tracy Brown Life. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. My favorite symbol is the tree of life. Hi YouTube, how are you guys doing today? Hi MJ, how are you doing? Did you ever find my information, MJ? Did you go to my uh, website and find how to reach me, tracybrownlive.com? Because I have openings for today if anybody needs a reading. I think I do. Hold on a second. I'll tell you right now. Uh-huh. I have uh, two slots available if anybody needs a reading. So how's everyone doing? Yes, I did, Miss Tracy. I sent you a long text. Where? On my emails? Oh, you sent me a long text. Okay. Did the person respond to your text? Because you might have sent it to my, um, my appointment desk. The 213 is my appointment desk. Hi, Chiquita. Hola, nonchalant introvert. How are you? Hi, Diamond. Slots for today. Hi, Diamond. Girl, please. Now, you know I will always fit you in. You just got to text me on my number. I will find a spot for you, Diamond. Trust and believe. There are just some people that's been with me forever. So I'm not turning the people down that have been with me forever. Like, they get special treatment. Um, oh, Lord, have mercy. What's the first three numbers of your um, telephone number? What's your uh, area code? Is it area code? Yeah, I guess. First three numbers, 313, 213, what is it? How's everyone doing today? I don't know which one I'm choosing, which deck I'm choosing, so I'm just going to shuffle both. All right. Or better yet, MJ, just DM me. DM me on YouTube. Let me know who you are on YouTube, and I'll just send the information over to you, okay? So... How's everybody's weekend? I have been out of doing dashikis and bonnets. Um, and I have been on vacation. And yet, I've been back since Wednesday. But there was just so much to catch up on, so much business to do. Oh, just at... Oh, hi. Hey, sweetie, just ask Andy, how are you? Hope you got everything answered. I hope you got what you needed, Andy. It didn't feel like you got what you needed, to be honest with you. I can always tell. So, if there's a missing question, just text me and let me know, all right? Um... Good stay home. How was your celebration? Oh, my granddaughter turned two. And she is, oh, my God. To watch a two-year-old grow in, in front of your eyes. While I was there, she was growing. So she, she you know, the Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. That's how she calls me. She goes, Dory, 
Dory, Dory. Then I mentioned it to my son. I said, she calls out Dory three times like Beetlejuice. You know, she changed it. She did not like that I said that. So she changed it to two Dories instead of three. What the fuck? Why? I was like, no, I like Dory, Dory, Dory. After I said that, she refused to do Dory, Dory, Dory. She only said Dory, Dory. I don't know what happened. But she was not about to do no Beetlejuice bullshit. Is Beetlejuice evil? Because she was not having it. And I was like, talk to me. Because we have to, you know, we talk in the mind. I was like, talk to me. I like Dory, Dory, Dory. She refused. It was Dory, Dory after that. Like she grew up like... She took a stand in front of my eyes. I'm like, you're too. All right. Um, I love her. I had an amazing time with her. I had an amazing time with my family. You know. Yeah. I really love my family. I love my son. I love my daughter-in-law. I love my my baby Nova and Ezra. And I just love the dynamic between them. Like, it's really interesting to sit back and just be a grandparent and just watch your children be in charge of their own lives. And not interfere, not like you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. Like, first of all, I didn't see anything wrong. And second of all, I just love observing. Because I'm an observer anyway. I do that all my life. So to just watch my family is a gift. Because it's what I do anyway. I people watch. So I didn't do anything different with my family. So this time it was a little different. Like I felt like I was um, absorbing them. Like I didn't want to forget who they were. Because I've got some major changes going on in my life. And I'm like, just eating up the moment. I was like, I don't want to let this time go. Like, I'm going to sit back and really enjoy this moment with my daughter-in-law. And watch her be a really good mommy. Like, a really good mommy. Whew. Yeah. In any case, I'm over myself. It is what it is. Life goes on, things have to change. And, uh, oh, my daughter, my granddaughter made her internet debut because I'm not sure if I really showed pictures of her throughout the years. And she's two. And so I just felt like now was a good time to show her. And, uh, oh, she's a cutie pie. I mean, cutie pie. You know, no cuter than any other Instagram baby I see out there, right? It's not a competition, except mine is cuter. No, just kidding. <laughs> There's no competition. All the babies are completely adorable, and they, they say really cute things. And so I love all the baby stuff that I see out there. Um, but, yeah. All right. What am I doing here? I'm getting lost in thought. Um, but I came back and immediately, immediately upon going back, I'm taking another vacation. So I came back and I was like in awe of myself. I was like, what do I do? And so I'm in like scared. I'm like in limbo. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So I'm slowly piecing things together because I'm not a fan of running around at the last minute. So I'm piecing things together so that I could have a, a wonderful trip leaving. I'm not worried about when I get there. It's how do I leave my house, you know, without feeling frazzled. So I'm slowly packing all the things that I think I need. And then I remembered then I remembered I might need galoshes. Does anybody know about hurricane season in the Caribbean? And in my Caribbean beauties, how bad is hurricane season? And do I need galoshes? 
because I wasn't going to take galoshes, and now I think I need galoshes. What do you think? Going to go with my steel music. I'm going to find me some steel music on somebody's Caribbean street. In any case. Hello, Sugarfoot, Miss T. What's Sugarfoot? That's so funny. Hey, Tracy. Hi, Cream de la Creme. Hi. All right. Nobody's responding to me. Do I need galoshes? And, uh, on uh, in the Caribbean, I think I do. I don't know, but that is my next trip is to the Caribbean. I am going to be on my family's land, my family's land. So, Oh, girl, girl, oxtails. Woohoo! You know that's a Caribbean thing. Oh, we love us in the oxtail. Hi for Judy. Hi, sweetie. Um, have a good time. Thank you. You don't think I will during hurricane season? I don't know if it rains or anything there. All right, we'll figure it out. You know, when I went to Italy, they had these waterproof, very lightweight boots that you could wear with your shoes. And I don't think I brought them back home or I brought them back to home and I was like, I don't need these shits again. Ugh, what regret I had. That's gonna be fun. It is. Oh yes, and have a time laying out on a beach. Yes. I'm eating oxtails right now. Yes, oxtail. I was gonna eat some oxtails yesterday because there's this Mexican restaurant that makes a really good oxtail, like really good. Now you're going to make me order some today, and I don't need it today. I try to treat myself to uh, something like that once a week, and usually it's on a Sunday. Um, but I will be filming and still working from location, right? Um, you guys know I never, I never give up work. It's, that's not the game with me. Like, what I do for a living... I love, so it's never worked for me. So I'll, I'll be on location. I'll actually be on the East Coast side. So I don't know. I'll understand what it's like to work, you know, East Coast time. Um, and then go to the beach. You know, of course you have to go to the beach, but there's so much to see because every island offers something different. And so, and, and you could like take a plane to a home that I can go to one of the British islands, even, even though that's not necessary because a lot of the British islands are poor. So I don't know if I'm going to really make it unless there's a restaurant on one of the other islands that I need to go to. I doubt if I'm going to make any of the British islands. The crown did not take care of the Caribbean. And I despise the queen for that. She did not take care of her Caribbean people. Oh, thank you, Cream de la Creme. I feel like a light bearer, so I'm gonna own that title. I love that. Hi, Notorious. Hello, Lucille. Hi, Sin W. No need for, in my opinion, the rain in the Caribbean hits different. Oh, thank you, Marie. Hi, sweetie, how are you doing? Good to know. Because then I was like, do I need a rain jacket? Like, you know how Florida is like pouring down rain and then you take your jacket off, you know, five minutes later. That's Florida. Rain, pour, 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 pour. And then act like it never poured. That's Florida. So I'm thinking, is it like that? Uh, Virgin Islands, Sin W. Going to the Virgin Islands. Yeah, baby. I just want to hear some steel music. Ugh, I swear to God, I don't even care if there's a wedding down there. I hear steel music, I'm, I'm attending the wedding. Yes, I will. <laughs> they ain't ready for me in the Caribbean. I already know it. They ain't ready. <laughs> 
but I'm going to go and figure out life. You know, I'm going to go and figure out life. I've been to various Caribbean isles. Um, I do not like at all any of the British Caribbean places at all. I think Jamaica is beautiful, but what I saw in Jamaica, I didn't like. Okay? At all. I certainly don't understand how the ocean belongs to the world, and yet in Jamaica, they own the ocean. They own parts of the sand, and then they tell the locals, you can't walk on this part of the sand because it belongs to the resort. Yeah, I didn't like that. Oh, I don't think it's expensive at all, uh, MJ. It's not expensive to go to the Caribbean. It's not even expensive to like eat at the Caribbean. It's not expensive. Any travel is expensive, right? But none of it's expensive. I'm, I'm sorry, Notorious. You know I'm not lying about your country. No. It is not the peoples. I'm not talking about the peoples. I'm talking about who owns the land. And how I'm born and raised on an island that you tell me I can't walk the stretch of the ocean because different resorts owns part of the ocean? Are you kidding me? Hell no. So I didn't like that, but that's not Jamaica, that's British. That's how they set that up for you guys. And that is disgusting. And I'll, 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 I mean it, <laughs> I mean it. I do not like that. Yeah, unfortunately they cater to the resorts and tourists and treat the locals like crap. Thank you, Marie, thank you. I don't like that. So I better not find that in the Virgin Islands. I better not girls and guys. Now you know, I bet what I say, I better not find that. All right now. I am spending 30 days. <laughs> 30 days. I just couldn't, okay, here's what I figured out. That the price of a one week, two week hotel was the same as an Airbnb for a month. So why spend two weeks and run around and try to see everything? I figured for the same amount of money, I'll stay for a whole month. I'm staying for a whole month. That's why I'm working. Because I'm going down there for real leisure, not vacation. I'm going down to have an experience. I know. I know. <sighs> ask and you shall receive. Do not be afraid to ask. Ask and you shall receive. So let me tell you how this came about. I don't even know why I'm telling you all about all of this, but because it's almost here and I'm panicking. And the more I panic, the slower I get. True, true story. The more I panic, like, what do I do? What do I do? I just kind of go, maybe I should just lay down for a few hours. <laughs> um, someone got this card today uh, in their personal reading. So I'm going to share it with you guys. Yes, I am Kimberly, 30 days. Yes. Well, Miss Castaneda, um, yes and no. Uh, yeah, so I, I think it's yes and no. So Miss Castaneda says, could that be because there's some power when connecting to ancestral energy that they won't allow the locals to the water? Yes. Who lives in the water but Yamaya, right? Um, but, but no. At the same token, no. It's just that they convince the locals what's what belongs to them doesn't belong to them. They just mind fuck the locals. Hi, Karn Lasha. 
what's me too? Do you understand? So if you train someone to be so disciplined and walk a very specific line, it's all they know. So the locals in Jamaica have only known that they can only gather at this, what's called the city beach. And let me tell you, we partied at the city beach. It turns out that you want to party with the black folks. We partied, we played music, we ate the best foods, we hung out with the locals. It turns out you'd rather be with the locals, with the party people. We're tourists. And it's like, oh, I don't want to be over there with you guys. Like, ew, like, I don't need that privilege. Like, that's disgusting to me. So we went and walked down to be at the city beach with our black folks. And had fun. Better fun. So, so what? 30 days of relaxation. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Thank you. Can you give me a reading right now over YouTube? Only joking. <laughs> yeah, that was a good joke, MJ. <laughs> that was a funny, funny joke, MJ. Here's why it's not funny. Because I take care of the world. So we don't like selfish responses when I'm doing a public reading for the world. Get that? Princess? If you want a reading, decide that you deserve a reading. For you. Just for you. I decided I need to go on vacation. For me. Okay. Okay. You all need to decide what you want for you, but ask and you shall receive. Now, how did this come about? Let me tell you how this came about, because spirit talks to you, right? Even though you may not recognize spirit is talking to you. So I watch HGTV. I just got rid of cable, so I don't have HGTV anymore. But every Sunday, I watch HGTV, and I just put it on. I'm not watching it. I'm in bed. I'm probably doing some other types of work. But what attracted me most was Caribbean life. All right? Caribbean life. And I began to look forward to Sundays at 10 o'clock, sometimes a little earlier, for Caribbean life. And the more I watch Caribbean life, the more I said, I would like to do that. I was like, I don't know, God, I think I would like to do that. And I just continued to watch HGTV, not recognizing that my request was already being answered. This might have been like a year ago, a year and a half ago. So I've been watching HGTV for at least 18 months. See how that works? You see the trip as overnight. No, it was planted in my head over a year ago. So at some point, I started looking at, of course, HGTV is showing homes, right? They're showing million-dollar homes, right? You can't afford a million-dollar home. We're not trying to do that. But I kept looking at and hearing the people say, I'm at peace. I'm happy. I'm away from the hustle and bustle. And so one day, maybe about, it was in 2020. My breakthrough was in 2020. And I would love to hear everyone that had a breakthrough in 2020. Because my breakthrough came in during the COVID, right? And I'm walking home and I said, God, I don't, I don't deserve this. I, I'm, I'm shocked. And I don't deserve this. And what I mean by that is I, I believe where I live is very, very dirty, very dirty. And I didn't see it five years ago. So maybe something changed during COVID. 
I don't know. But I have found that the, the ground is so dirty that I bring the dirt in my house. And so I keep looking at my carpet and I'm like, why is my carpet, the tracking so dirty? Which means I've got to spend money on Stanley cleaners. And and then one day I was coming home, but I've, I've always cleaned my carpet. That wasn't an issue, but I didn't realize how much dirt I was tracking it. And whatever I was tracking was unhealthy. It was not okay. It was unclean. But in the meantime, I'm participating in my neighborhood council. You know, I'm doing my readings. I'm, you know, still participating out in the world, even during the COVID, but not necessarily going out in the world. But I'm coming home from my local supermarket. And I just looked at the ground and I said, God, I don't want to, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I'm sad. And I'm sad because it was so dirty, to be honest with you. That's what I saw. I saw that my community is hella dirty. I'm sorry. I don't know who lives in my community. And I'm really sorry if I'm insulting you, but it's dirty. And I, could, I can't stand it. And maybe I don't think it was like this five years ago. I think something happened during the COVID. But it's dirty. Marie, I'm going to take pictures and I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, and I just, just, everything I do is sacred. And so why am I walking on dirty ground? And so I said to God, I can't do this anymore. Whew. And that's when I got the inspiration or the okay or the idea, remember, it's everything's a thought first, remember that. And that's when I got the idea to check into the Caribbean and give myself a break. Yes, Notorious, data science is gonna serve you well over economics. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Who else got their breakthrough? Because this was major for me. I called my kids in, in March and I was like, I'm, I'm taking time out for me. I'm doing me. And it's about my roots. And I wanna put my feet in real soil and be rooted. You go girl, Alexi. Alexi be knowing things. You go girl. Yeah. Why do you say that? I say all of this with the door open. I always leave my door open. Calm and peaceful, no rush. Just sun and take your time and join yourself, Miss Tracy, with your shorts given what it's supposed to. Let me tell you something. I got me some booty pum pum shorts. Listen, those Caribbean women better back up. I'm coming cute. I got pum pum shorts. Don't mess with me. I'm a thick thigh girl. I'm showing some thighs. They might be used to it because they're used to Taurus people. I'm so happy for you, Miss Tracy. Thank you, Belle Papillon. Thank you. I'm so excited too. Hey, Queen Tracy, God bless you and yours in the name of Jesus much. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you. No, no. Vaccination is not required, but it is required that you be COVID negative. So. <laughs> I don't know about, I don't know about coming busted. You know, black folks, we, we come in cute regardless. So I started looking at videos of other girls that have gone on vacation. Um, and there's a lot of videos out there and they, they come cute. So I think the difference is, is that I'm mature, right? I'm not in my early thirties. So drinking's not the most important thing to me, you know, but Hey, I'm coming cute. You should see the outfits that I'm wearing. Pum, 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 pum shorts. It's mostly tops. I like tops more than anything. And I just bought a, a thousand shorts of the same type. 
There's nothing like refresher in the Caribbean. Yes. So I'm, I was going to say that. So I'm still videotaping dashikis and bonnets. I'm going to, you know, invite you all to the beach, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but we're just going to like, come along with, come along with me. And I say this to say, when you are inspired to do your COVID break, when you're inspired, follow your gut, follow your dream, right? Going to St. Thomas is a dream. I'm accomplishing that dream. You know, a few years back, I wanted to take one vacation with my son. And I spoke to God again. I said, God, he's getting old. So I'm not going to be able to grab him in a minute. And I was like, please allow me to take a vacation with him. And we took a cruise to the Caribbean on the British side. And I had just met his girlfriend. And I liked her so much that I invited her to come with me. Because... I liked her so much, I did not want my son to see anybody on the cruise that he wanted. I was like, nope, nope, nope. So I asked him first, I was like, hey, do you think your girlfriend might want to come? And he was like, oh yeah, that's sweet of you. I was like, mm -hmm. I was like, hey girlfriend, do you want to come? She's like, oh my God, yes. I'm like, mm -hmm. I had a hidden agenda. I liked her. I was not going to let another hoe step in front of my son on no cruise. They're married. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My plan worked out well. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, come out to the West Coast, Sylvester. Listen, there's a big exodus from New York. Get out. New York is not safe. And I apologize for all my New York people. I get out. New York is no longer safe. So, and for those of you that are there, be safe. However, you can wield safety, right? You can wield Safety. I am always safe. You have the power. And if you want to leave, leave. No, 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 no. She's not going, but I have a bigger problem with her. No, but listen, we got to trust God in the process, right? So no, she's not going. However, I can't seem to get her ID. I can't get her California ID. It's a nightmare right now. I petitioned for her birth certificate, but they wouldn't give it to me. Oh, you know what? Oh. I think I can get it now. All right, you guys just help me. I think I can get her ID now. I just took conservatorship over her, so she hasn't had her own bank account. Oh, but if I open up a bank account in her name, If I open up a bank account and she receives a debit card in her name, then we might be able to get the birth certificate. Hmm. All right, let me talk to her owner, the uh, owner of the home that she lives in.
All right. I just called the, the owner of the house that she lives in, uh, text her, and let's see how we could do this. You guys may have helped me just now. Because the problem is I can't seem to get her ID. So because I can't get her ID, she can't come. But you trust God in the process. So she ain't coming because she don't have ID. But there's a reason for that. So I'm not worried about the reason. All I know is, no, she ain't coming. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, mass exodus means everybody's leaving New York. Well, Wolverine, let me tell you, all the men in the Caribbean are hot tomatoes. They are hot. They really pounce on tourist women. Um, I'm not down for that. I'm not a Stella type of girl, right? And the last time I went, my son and his girlfriend were walking behind me because they were doing lovey-dovey things. We just got off the boat and went to a whole nother island and I'm walking ahead of them while they are doing lovey-dovey things, right? And I was so far ahead of them that the local came on me and he's like, basically saying, I'll do you. And I was like, thank you, I'm good. And he's like, come on, come on, I do you. And I was like, listen, I'm really good. And in my mind, I'm thinking, please walk away before my son gets here, right? I didn't want to make a stink. But in my mind, I'm going, walk away before my son gets here. Like, what part of no are you not understanding, right? <laughs> he doesn't walk away. I'm still walking, and he doesn't walk away. And, of course, my son noticed I was being harassed. My son pounced on that man. He's like, what part of no are you missing? That is my mother, blah, 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 blah. I was dying. I was like, I tried, I was, try, I was trying, but he didn't want to listen. He thought I needed his penis. I don't. So, it is what it is. That's in every Caribbean land. The men have figured out how to make money with their penis. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm not down for that. But that's me. If you down for that, you down for that. And let me tell you something. They, their penis does not have race in mind. They will boink anybody and everything. If you a Taurus, they gonna boink you. <laughs> they do not discriminate. They just like Taurus, Taurus, because I think Taurus, they believe have money. So I think that's why they boink. But it's, you know, it's prostitution, basically. <laughs> it's the oldest business in the world, and they have figured out to pounce on that business. Yeah, too funny. Yeah, so true. I'm like, what the Stella is going on? But God's in the process. I'm sure you'll make friends. Yeah, I'm. listen, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I will absolutely, I will be fine. You know, these guys don't want to boink me unless there's cash behind it. And I don't pay for that. So go find a tourist. <laughs> Besides, this is my hometown. So the minute I let them know, like, I'm really more of a local than you seem to recognize. I might be new to you, but I'm a local. Like, the minute I let them know, no, 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 no. Treat me like your mother, you weirdos. <laughs> They're going to leave me alone. <laughs> They're going to be like mama psychic. Mama psychic. <laughs> I don't know. I have no, by the way, guys. I have no expectation. I have no idea what's coming from this trip. I have no expectations. I'm, I'm open to spirit and spirit gave me permission to go. So with that permission, I'm hightailing, I, hightailing it out of here. I don't know where it will lead me. I have no clue. 
I'm open to enjoying 30 days. So come aboard and watch the videos and see where what this all means in the long run. International boinkers. <laughs> Depressed, I'm a Leo. And uh, is that the best name you can have, Depressed underscore Alabama? Are you depressed? Because that name will bring upon depression because you're, you're owning a part of you that maybe needs to be shifted. I don't know if that's your best name, sweetie. Hi, Moon Goddess. How are you? Hi, old Kefi. Babies, if you feel down, you want to feel attractive, go to a Nigerian or Jamaican bar. You will come out feeling like a star. Well, because they're very good. By the way, I, I kind of appreciate that comment, Wolverine, because men of other cultures understand romance. American men aren't the best at it anymore. They used to be. But men of other cultures, um, they're very good at romance. A lot of, of course, I'm going to be open. Yes. Really? I did not know that Wolverine. Wolverine said, I live in London. Jamaican men are exactly the same way over here. <laughs> Boinkers. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, Wolverine, I, I'm in control of me. She goes, I know you're not that way. Just prepare yourself. No, I don't have to prepare myself for anything. I know me. And so <sighs> I have the power. I decide, right? I'm, I'm not looking for that. There, there's something bigger that I'm going down there for. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely something bigger. It's not about sex, I think. The mindset of everyone in here is thinking sex because Stella got her groove. That author wasn't the best, healthiest person. She wasn't healthy. Do you remember her story after she kidnapped that poor young dude from his land? He wound up divorcing her because she maintained unhealthy responses in life. So no, Stella and I don't agree. But there are people that like the Stella concept. And so what happened after that book? Everybody went down in the Caribbean for sex. That's a shame because now we got a whole group of men prostituting. There's something wrong with that. I'm sorry, what's her name that wrote that book? I'm sorry, I'm not a Stella type of girl. So no, I don't have to prepare for anything. I am who I am. And I am going down for 30 days, not for sex. And I want you guys to understand that. There's something so much bigger to life than prostitution. Like, help me out here. Does anybody feel my way? Like, do you all really think I'm going to the, to the Caribbean for sex? No, no. I'm a metaphysical person through and through. And sex is a feeling. And random sex is energy. And if somebody's boiking every Taurus, I get all of that energy. That's what I am. I'm energy, like me and then energy. And so what am I going to feel? All his greedy, greediness for money using his penis? Um, all the tourists that most of them are married, um, sneaking away for some sexual adventure or massage that then leads to sex. Like, hello, not my cup of tea. So guess what? I don't need to prepare. I am prepared. And I want you guys to consider that it's your job to always be spiritually prepared. No one can take you down. So no, I'm not going down for sex.
Wolverine, that's what it is. It's my people. I'm going down to figure something out. I don't know what the hell I'm figuring out. That's the funny part. I really don't know. I can tell you it's not for sex. Now, you know my back ass might come back with a boyfriend. <laughs> Because I don't know what I'm going down for. And I'm going to be like, well, so, so, so I found a boyfriend. So. <laughs> oh, traveling bonnets. I love that. Dashikis and the traveling bonnets. Can I change the name while I'm down there? Alexi, I really love that concept. Thank you. <laughs> See, Snoop. Snoop is like, listen. Um, no, it's not Snoop. Who was it? Oh, well, Wolverine. See, that makes sense because you're putting it on me. Wolverine's like, I know you're not going there for that. When I go there, it won't be for that. Right. All right. Yes, Jewel, I'm still working. See, that's the funny part. I'm really not going on vacation. I'm just going to be in a different location. Nothing changes. I'm still doing my readings. And I'm going to enjoy new land. You see the difference? All right. Are we finished talking? 47 minutes on talking about me. <laughs> well, then that's a, that's a good day. No. Um, let's pull two cards. Let's pull two cards. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to connect with, with that too, Wolverine. There's just a lot. I just, listen, I will figure it out when I get there. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just know that I'm going. First card, dreams, dreams. Who needs to pay attention to their dreams? Second card, light. All right, let's read the first card, dreams. Dream, 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 dream. Waves of healing energy flow through you as you sleep subconsciously restoring balance and healing unresolved emotional issues. An issue which most probably stems from a past life or childhood is being processed and healed in your dream state. Hmm. You may not be aware of the issue that impacts negatively on your life. It manifests through unexplained negative feelings, self-doubt, irrational fears. The good news is that there's nothing you need to do. Just be patient, allow the process without, without trying to make it make sense. See what I mean? Like I'm going to the Caribbean, but I'm, I'm open to the process. I'm not trying to make it make sense. Trust. For for you will soon be free of the negativity that so often has sabotaged your progress in the past. A brighter, more confident you surfaces. So I like this card about the dreams because I think a lot of us make mistakes in our day life. Your day life begins eight hours before. So whatever time your bedtime is, right? What you listen to will impact your peace at night, right? Which is why the last thing I would watch would be HGTV because that's my dream, right? My, I love watching purchasing homes and stuff like that, right? And that makes me happy. That puts me in a happy place. Okay. And so because I go to sleep on something like HGTV, I sleep with the start of peace and happiness and in a dream state. Also, 
it's a really good idea to go to sleep and dream about sex. It's a happy place. <laughs> no, I mean it. Okay. So if you're watching a show about violence, people arguing like Real Housewives of anything, like The Handmaid, Handmaid's Tale, then you're giving yourself anxiety and you're wrestling with uh, latent feelings that identify something else in your past. So you've got to give yourself things the night before asleep for your day shift. So I like to listen to mantras also. I like to listen to meditations. My friend Jason D. McKean has these meditations that you could listen to and you just lay down. He's like, now you're going to do this. Now you're going to do that. It's so cool, right? Mantras. I love to listen to mantras. Love mantras. All right. And you just have to research them. Lately, Spirit has been telling me um, frequency mantras. Frequency uh, tones is what I need to be listening to. So last night I thought I was listening to frequency tones, but what I was actually listening, listening to was music that had something to do with the conjunct of Saturn back in December, but it was still beautiful. So I just let it stay on my, uh, my uh, phone. And allow yourself some peace before bed, which will then allow you, and it takes practice if you're not used to it, which will then allow you to have a peaceful, restful night, which means you get to wake up and enjoy your daytime. So try it. Your dreams are everything. But before you dream, give yourself and your mind something soothing to listen to. Yeah, Alexis, do you listen to um, Frequency and Tone? That's my, that's my newest thing. I learned it from my daughter-in-law's uh, 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 brother. He listened to Frequency, so he taught me something. I was like, what is this? Let me, let me investigate this. And I like it. Hi, two Kelsies. The next card is Light. <laughs> KB, definitely not the Handmaid's Tale. I know. I know. KB's like, I love that show, but it stresses me. I know. It's so stressful, the Handmaid's Tale, but it is good. But don't watch it before you go to bed. Mm -mm. You will go to bed angry. Um, Sylvester, boy, please, have fantasies about sex. It's a happy place. Try it. Try it. And let me know when you tried it. And let me know how happy you were the next day. And guess what? If you have to masturbate, masturbate. Who cares? Do what you have to do. What do I care? I just want you to be happy. Or if you're fantasizing about sex and you have a partner, grab that partner. Finish, finish, finish. <laughs> but I'm dead serious. Sex is an amazing thought to, 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 to embellish in your mind, right? Not in a perverted kind of way. We're not talking about perversion. We're talking about fantasy. Go for it. <laughs> Sylvester's like, okay. Wow. <laughs> Sylvester, I give you permission to invest in fantas fantasiful sex. I do it all the time. <laughs> it's very healing. Y'all going crazy on YouTube is having some sex issues. MJ's like, no need to masturbate. I finish in my dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kathy's like, let me go. I got a little masturbation to do. <laughs> I am so serious. 
fantasy is beautiful. Invest in it. All right, light. Shine your light for all to see. Who called me a light worker? I love that. You're like a lighthouse and your light can illuminate any dark areas of your life. Who is the light in their family? Who's the light? Everybody listening here should be the light. Everybody listening here should be, hi, beautiful conundrum. Everybody listening here should want to be the light. Light is power. Light is kindness. Light is not being afraid. But I don't think this card means that. Let me read on. This mermaid reminds you to shine your light wherever you go. Do not be shy. Hmm. I love that. She reminds you to be aware that light is attractive to others and acts like a magnet, mm. drawing others to you like a moth to a flame. Sometimes we feel as if our light is missing, but truth is, it's always there. Even when we stand in a shadow, the light is there to guide us. Perhaps inner shadows are being revealed so you can be exposed to the divine light of your soul. It could be the right time to explore shadow work or shamanic practice or today with a lot of this retrograde and the placement of a lot of the planets, you know, shadow people might show up. Maybe you're the light, but shadow people don't want you to be the light, don't want you to change for them. But you're the divine and it's time for your soul to be exposed to the light. When light is present, darkness can exist. This isn't, to, this isn't to say that darkness is bad, far from it. In fact, for in the darkness, gestation occurs. And in a womb, like sanctuary of darkness, ideas are formed and protected. The baby is born in darkness. That's, think about, that is beautiful. It's important to remember that both light and dark are necessary for growth. A seed grows in darkness before it reaches and is nurtured by the light. If you feel like your light is dimming, then it's time for self-care. Which is why I'm going away, right? I just felt like change was required. I just felt like, like y'all just entered the COVID. I had been in my house four years prior. I think I'm going on my sixth year of working from my home. So, I've been doing this. It wasn't until the COVID that I was like, welcome to my world, first of all. And second of all, what different do you want me to do, God? What different am I supposed to react to now? Because everybody else is coming in, I get to leave. Because I've done the work. And for whatever reason, it took four years to get the, 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 the mental completion that God needed me to have. And yet you all just entered the work. What's your COVID Eureka? What is it? It doesn't mean do something about it, but do you get it? Do you get your Eureka? What did my cousin tell me in uh, um, my fitness cousin? And I love this. Because she was like, in 2020, I broke up with my boyfriend. Devastating, right? Devastating. You don't want to hear something like that. But her memo that she got beyond that was to adopt, foster two children. Wow. Wow. 
She didn't let the breakup ruin who she was and how she's supposed to operate in the world. She didn't let a breakup take her down. She shifted. And lo and behold, there were two kids that needed her. Kovic, Eureka. What is yours? And you don't have to know what it is right now, but you had a whole year to figure it out. And Eureka does not have to be good, people. Like I said, he, she's the perfect example. I broke up with my boyfriend. Was that necessary for these two children to come along? Absolutely. Something bad had to happen for something good to happen. But what is your Eureka? COVID Eureka. <laughs> well, Cynthia, I love boundaries. We, we had this whole conversation about boundaries in my group text. Handle your boundaries. Are you being called to shine your light for others, to show them the way physically, mentally, spiritually? For when the light shines fully, you have the ability not only to eliminate your own path, but also the path for others. If you feel your light is dimming, it's time for self-care. Nurture yourself with relaxation, meditation, healthy foods, fresh foods, until you feel your energy and your light restored. Listen, guys, we still need to survive the COVID, even though everyone is becoming massless, da 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 Please, everyone, take your vitamin D3s. Some of y'all need 50,000. Some of y'all need 25,000. Take, get some vitamin D3. Also, K2. I didn't say K1. I said K2. K2, I had it here. I said I was going to remember, and now look, I forgot. K2 is for heart disease and not allowing your arteries to calcify. So find your K2. It reduces the risk of heart disease, not K1. K1 can be found in the foods that you eat, all right? Take your vitamin C, find some gummy bears. No, bright green vegetables is K1. So eat green vegetables, that's K1. K2 is not the same thing. K2, let me see where you can find K2. Hold on a second. What foods, let me help out. What foods... Have K2. I'm just going to get a supplement. See, most foods have vitamin K in them, but most of them have K1 in them. I'm specifically asking about K2. A foods high in K2. Let's see. Oh. K2 is found in dairy, fermented foods, and animal products. So, So I'm specifically saying K2, K1 is what's found in most leafy, leafy greens. Come on, tell me. Natto, N-A-T-T-O is high in K2. Eel, E-E-L, um, is also found in K2. Cheese, I eat a lot of cheese actually. And I shouldn't because it's not a part of a Selby diet, but I just love cheese. Um, has K2. Oh, 
like, I love cheddar and I will eat cheese every day. It's the one food from Dr. Selby that I try to release, but I can't. Um, Munster cheese and Gouda. Oh, beef liver. I love beef liver. Beef liver is one of the most nutritious meat products you can eat, containing your in, your entire daily requirement for nutrition for nutrients like vitamin A, riboflavin, folate, and copper. Um, and has eleven micrograms of vitamin K two, making it the best meat based source of vitamin. I didn't know that. Chicken. If you're a fan of organ meats, which I am, then the like liver in chicken turn to uh, vitamin K2. Butter. Just a tablespoon of butter, which I use all the time. I do not use oil for anything. If it calls for oil, it's olive oil or butter. Um, just a tablespoon of butter has 2.1 micrograms of vitamin K2. However, the same teaspoon contains 100 calories, 11 grams of fat, so make sure you keep the serving store. Okay. Sauerkraut. All the things that I love. I love sauerkraut. Oh, sauerkraut is good for promoting good gut health and boosting immunity. Did you guys know that? And is a good source of K2. Do you guys believe me? I bet you guys don't believe me. I love sauerkraut. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Ah, this is sauerkraut. Uh -huh. Not only do I love sauerkraut, I can eat it straight. So I'm getting my sauce of K2. Oh, I'm so happy. I love sour stuff. Now listen to me. I get this when I'm making my own hot dog. Because I'm from New York. Let me put sauerkraut on. This isn't the best brand. Sorry. There are other brands that are better. But when you're eating it, plain is how you could tell. I like to get sauerkraut from from Sprouts, because they have a better selection. Uh, Kroger's doesn't have a good selection. But I also didn't know it was good for gut health. Just a little bit. Right, Tarika, that's a New York in me, sauerkraut, yes! Mm -hmm. I don't eat, let me tell you something. When I go to somebody else's house, I know they're having barbecue, and they're having frankfurters, I'll bring my own sauerkraut. Because people don't know how to, how to have sauerkraut at barbecues. All right. So sauerkraut is, is good for gut health. What is this? Farmer's insurance. James Nguyen. To accept, press 1. To send a Get out of here. Um, sauerkraut. Oh. Sauerkraut is fermented cabbage. I love cabbage. Have you guys ever made cabbage steak? So listen to this. Oh, I'm getting hot. You make cabbage steak, brush some olive oil, add some cheese. That's all your K2. That's all you need. And put it in the oven. Oh, my God. That is so good. It's so good. It's so easy to make. And you add that to your dinner. Oh, my God. So good. Um, I thought I saw something with chicken. Oh, the liver part of chicken. Um, good health, boosting immunity. And it's a great source of vitamin K. Egg yolk. Who knew? Egg yolk can contain 67 to 192 micrograms of vitamin K2. However, this depends on what the hen eats. However, 
most chicken feed today is fortified with vitamin K and the contact passes on to the egg. But chickens fed corn or soy-based diets are more at risk of vitamin K deficiency. Hmm, that's interesting. So get your K2 in people because we, I'm hot all of a sudden, we are not over the COVID, right? We're clear about that, right? We're not over the pandemic. Everybody doesn't have to die. Vitamin D3 is mandated. Black folks, white folks, Mexicans, <sighs> indigenous, get your vitamin D3. We are all deficient in that. <laughs> no wonder, red roses, I love kimchi. What? I love kimchi. Kimchi is my favorite. I can't eat it hot anymore, but there's a mild version at Sprouts that I buy. I'll eat it right out the back. I love kimchi. You know what I've noticed, and I think you all should listen to your body. I think my body knew I needed K2 because there was almost everything in there. I love beef liver. Don't eat spinach with animal protein. It feeds your bad cholesterol. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I love beef liver. And you should let me cook beef liver for you because what you say you don't like with the right cook, trust and believe you will love it. And I'm not talking about smothered liver. I'm just talking about plain old beef liver. It's amazing. All right, guys. Yeah, Marge, you know, Margin, I hear you. Yeah, I mean, but everybody's going to go maskless soon, so... The pandemic is still here. So here's what I say to that. Feed yourself the right vitamins and feed yourself the right foods. Vitamin C is mandated. Vitamin D3 is mandated. Remember that. If you can get a supplement of K2, if you're not eating the right foods right now, then buy the K2. I didn't say K1. I said K2. All right. Um, with all that being said, you can get K1 through leafy green vegetables. So just eat that naturally. Watch your diet. Eating fast food is not your friend. Eating at restaurants is not necessarily the best for you right now. Um, and, you know, maybe if you feed yourself enough, if the COVID comes past you, it's not that you won't get it, it's, it means you could survive it. So remember that, all right? And of course, elderberry. All right, am I missing anything as far as COVID health? Am I missing anything? D3, K2, vitamin C, all right. And the vitamin C that I like to use, hold on a second. This is what I'm going to carry on vacation with me. This is what I'm carrying on vacation because I don't drink regular orange juice. All right. And most of the pills in, um, Vitamin C gummies have a lot of sugar in them. And so that just doesn't work for me. So one pack a day. All right. You could sweeten if you like, but I've learned to take it without any sweetening. One pack a day. And this particular one, you can check it on Amsterdam. Amazon has a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. All right. I know, sweetie. I know California is, you know, right now we are still wearing masks. So let me see, do I have enough? One, two, three, six, nine, 12, 14. All right. I only have enough for two weeks. So I got to get another box of this. 
Thank you for making me look at this. I thought I had another box here. No, I got to get another box. That really pisses me off, but it is what it is. Also, guys, your coat is an example of gut health. What we're really trying to do in the middle of the COVID is honor our gut health. All right. So CMOS honors your gut health. Your cult honors your gut health. All right. So that was the one thing I was forgetting, CMOS. Thank you, beautiful conundrum. Your vitamins are the truth. But you're not going to have vitamins and then eat bad all day. All right. And those of you that are on medication from your doctor, take it as prescribed. That's the real trick to surviving the COVID. Take your medications as prescribed. Okay. Don't let your medication be the reason that COVID finds its way in. Okay. Oh, Alexi, I already told my neighbor, you know, I felt really sad about her too. But um, um, I have someone that's coming to watch the house. So it is what it is. But I have, I, I've always had someone come watch my house. Before I had someone come watch my house when I had a dog. Now I don't have a dog, but I was like, hey. Can you check on my house, please? So, but I always had somebody. It's the gift of, you know, having people around you that care and love you. Hi, hood celebrity. Hi, I remember you. Jason, I don't know your real name. So hood celebrity. Can I find you on IG? Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen with this girl. I, I was gonna have a conversation with this girl, but we started talking again, me and this girl. I don't know how to tell him things are changing and I'm gonna be gone for third. I don't know what to do. So I don't know. My heart is breaking for a lot of reasons. <laughs> Omega, Omega, anybody, Omega. Well, tell us about Omega. I don't know if I do any Omega products right now. Read all labels. Yes, read all labels for your medicine. Minimum carbs. Thank you, beautiful conundrum. Please, COVID doesn't like carbs. I have learned to take cauliflower rice and replace that with regular rice. And it tastes the same with gravy. Minimum carbs, like carbs are hard because carbs are something you thirst for, right? You thirst for carbs. It's really weird what carbs does to you. There must be an ingredient in carbs that makes you want it more. And so I treat myself to carbs once a week. If I'm, if I'm not doing well, you will see me eat carbs more often if I'm not doing well. That means if I'm having anxiety or something's bothering me, you will see me eat carbs. But if you can discipline yourself to eating carbs once a week and then just go crazy on that day, carb overload, so, so, and then go back to reducing the amount of quality of carbs and rice is not your best friend rice and bread is not your friend let me uh research uh omega health i know people should be watching their omega health let me research that thank you thank you too let me know what you suggest You're a journalist? 
my complex. What am I looking at? Oh. For no, your I for news. Oh. Hi. Aww. I just followed you. So why was your name Hood Celebrity on Periscope? All right, I'm over myself. Are you guys good? Hey Tracy, what do you think of the YouTube vid I emailed you yesterday? I didn't look any of my emails. I don't look at emails on Sundays. Which one? Um, to at Gmail? Oh, here you are. Oh, I just lost you. Ugh. I didn't take a look at it. I'll take a look at it now, Angela. Thank you. Ugh. Hood Celebrity, that's a cute name, right? Red Roses is definitely a cute name. I found it, Angela. Bring the squirrel and the birds on holiday to Tracy. Screw that, screw that squirrel. That squirrel has a life in a hood where it belongs. Oh yeah, uh, every Monday, this side of the complex gets the grooming. Oh, they're back at noontime because at some point they did it eight o'clock in the morning in the winter. I, I realized that for the first time, but they've always done it at noontime. So this is their normal time. Because before I would have to do the do my readings before or after, but then they changed it to eight o'clock in the morning. So I didn't have to worry, but now I gotta go back and worry. All right, I gotta go for my walking. I got to go for my walking. Also, the last thing I'm going to tell you all, exercise. Get that blood pumping. Exercise. And I'm telling you, all you have to do is walk. I, I'm not a fan of aerobics. I don't have the knees for aerobics anymore. Um, but walking... Give yourself at least 15 minutes a day. Okay? And you don't have to do it every day. It could be three times a week. It could be every day. You know, give yourself 15 minutes. It makes a big difference. I'm telling you. Walk. Omega-3, but I am Kimberly, is uh, pointing out. I'll check into that. But I just want to make sure the ones that I was telling everyone about, had everything with trying to survive the COVID. All right, 
You guys, I'm going to stop doing these long videos. The shikis and bonnets are supposed to be five to ten minutes. So I've got to stop talking and I've got to find a way to stop talking. <laughs> For the dashikis and bonnets. Any other video can be long. Go get your walk. We're getting warmer weather for walking. Yes, Jason. And it's still decent enough to walk in the middle of the day. So it's soon I'm going to have to go walking 7 o'clock in the morning because California gets really hot. But that's not here yet. We got May gray and June gloom. And so we're still gray skies for at least five hours in the morning, which is good. All right. Oh, you're good. I just brought a jump rope. Right. Jump rope. Right. All right. What's the two messages? Light and something else? Dreams. Dreams. All right. Learn to go to sleep happy. And that is up to you. Bye, guys. Brown, 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 Brown,